first time I experienced racism. I was working out. Well, you know, can't call it to that place. So we're gonna call it the evil factory. My first time working there, basically, I'd like to say I was about two or three weeks in at the time. And this old lady comes walking down in the furniture aisle asking for a couch. I looked at her, took one of my headphones out, and stared a lot longer. Then looked at her again, sized her up. I have no idea why I sized her up. Then told her we don't sell couches, but the store next to us does. She looked at me with a lot of disbelief. Like, he did not just say that to me. He did not. I don't believe it. This rude boy. In my head, I thought I said everything perfect. I'm over here like, nailed it. Third week and already nailing conversations at this job. <sighs> they gonna upgrade me to manager. Well then, she walks off. And then I walk off to the back room. Once I get to the back room, I have to put my stuff away. We got like two hours, or about um, 30 minutes by that, till we clocked out. So I went back to my area after putting my items up. She came back. I have no idea why. She was looking at me down the aisle, staring at me. Looked like she was trying to challenge me for the throne. You know, like one of those medieval movies where you challenge somebody for the throne and bullshit. Yeah, it looked like one of those things. So then, her son, I guess, came around the corner. He sized me up. I thought I was about to get fired right there. I was about to say, well, I gotta fight this guy. But no. He simply asked me, where are the couches? I looked at him, took a deep breath. I was like, oh, it's about to be that kind of conversation. Here we go. So as the conversation proceeded, I tell him, once again, we don't sell couches. We sell something called a futon, I guess. That's kind of like a couch. They both looked at me. For some odd reason, they seemed like they didn't believe me. I wonder why. Video discretion, by the way, I'm black. They're white. So, this has nothing to do with what's going on, but I'm pretty sure it was at the time. They looked at me a lot longer. Then it was like, where's your manager? The only manager near me was my manager, Russell. He worked on the side of the grocery. So they go over, I go over to talk to Russell. And then I ask him about a couch. He was like, we didn't sell those. You already know that. You've been here a little long. I was like, yeah, I know. But this couple won't shut up about it. So, told me to go back to them and tell them we don't sell that, sorry. And that's what I did. Went back, told them we don't sell that. Something in my head told me I shouldn't have said that. They end up looking at me. Still believing I didn't say that. They stared at me a lot longer. Kind of to the point where, you know, it got a little awkward. Then she sized me up and was like, this is totally inappropriate. I need to talk to your manager. I looked at her, I was like, what part of my job is inappropriate? The fact that you can't take me to the couches. I was like, woman, in the 20 years that I've come to this grocery store, I've never seen them sell the couch. Then, suddenly, she was like, well, I'm older than you, so I obviously know more. And then I looked at her, I was like, well, that's what you're going with in this storyline. Then, by all means. Five more minutes into the conversation, her son asked me, well, if you don't sell couches, how do you guys have such... I don't know why he phrased it like this, but he looked at me and said, why do you guys have such good prices on other furniture except for a couch? And I looked at him and I started this not making any sense. Don't you mean, you know what, never mind. So I literally looked at him in the face. I was like, sir, we don't sell couches, but the place next to us does. You guys can go over there and get a couch, but I came here for a couch. <sighs> at that point, I was getting frustrated. To the point where I look down at my phone to see what time it was. It was about two hours. 
past too. But basically, I was tired. My bad, it was about 15 minutes before I clocked up. At that time, I was sitting there, just thinking to myself, these people are still talking to me. Still talking to me. So then, this is where that this tur took a weird turn. The lady looked at me and was like, look, boy. And I was like, hmm, oof. She didn't just call me that, but she did. She said, look, boy, take me to the couches. I took the furniture section where I so happened to be literally working for the day. And then told her, do you see a couch? And she looked at the futon and said, yeah, that's a couch. I said, no, you stupid. That is not a couch. Yeah, I called her stupid. I called her stupid. Her son looked at me in disbelief, and so did she. Whoopsie. Her son looked at me in disbelief, and so did she. And I looked at her, and I was like, what? You didn't expect me to say that? Obviously, you asked me some stupid questions for me not to say some shit. Five seconds later into the conversation, she literally told me to go get my manager. She was like, I need to report this. Then my manager explained to her that we didn't have no couches. The story even got weirder. She literally looked at him, said my apologies, and then went, no. It, it really does not end there. So I clock out, leaving with a couple of guys more. Tell them bye. As soon as I say bye, I go on a merry way. I start walking home. Next thing you know, from the corner of my eye, I see a car driving by. It's that lady and her son. They roll down the window. They were get, trying to tell me something, but I had both my earphones in, and I was not going to unleash my earphones. I mean, they were trying to tell me to take my earphones off, but I didn't. So this is where the story gets better. She looked at me, explained that she was sorry in the car. But then said she was she wouldn't apologize for the fact that she knew that that store sold couches. And then I looked at her, took a deep breath, and I said, "Look, bitch. Obviously, we don't sell couches. But seriously, stay the fuck away from me. You already said called me the N word once, but it was a slip of the tongue. And then you called me boy. See, the reason I didn't say that before is because you know." It really wouldn't matter. But then here comes the stupidest motherfucker I've ever the stu sorry, the stupidest line I've ever heard in my life. Well, if you did your job better, maybe you could have found those couches. I don't know how I was supposed to do my job any better to help her find a couch that didn't exist at that store. But at the time I guess she was too naive to know that. And then next thing you know, I was like, well, if you didn't see race, you could have probably didn't see that. You probably would have believed me. And she was like, well, that's very rude. I was like, no, it wasn't rude enough. I can get ruder. I told her that's why the car that you are driving literally has four stamps of saying that you're a whore. Your son has no girlfriend. He's living with his mother still at probably the age of literally 40. They feel, dis they feel disgusted. And then I put my earphones off and then have a good day. Literally after selling them, have a good day. I have more stories like this I should keep saying. But I'll save that for another video. Trust me. I think the next story I'll tell you is the time I got hit with a wrestling move by my cousin at work. That that has to be the tipping of my 